here maybe even late tonight you'll yes. need it now i know what you're saying you're saying cedric you don't need all that for these temperatures it's in the mid to upper 40s even near 50 out there balmy temperatures considering what's ahead with this south wind but that's about to change folks let me show you just how close it is it's 51 in nashville that front is knocking on the door in nashville it's 24 in little rock and notice how quickly you go from the 20s all the way down to the single digits. So that's what's going to happen here as we go throughout tonight into tomorrow morning. In fact, here's a quick kind of overview of that. You can see upper 40s through about 9, 10 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, I think the front is knocking on the door in Chattanooga. If you're west or northwest of Chattanooga, you're already going to be probably below freezing and already seeing some snow showers there. But again, for uh, the city itself, I think somewhere between that 11 and midnight time frame, that front moves through and then the temperatures plummet. We're at freezing by midnight. Again, we'll have a brief window of that light wintry mix and and then notice by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, yeah, that's single digits heading our way. Single digits. It'll be seven tomorrow morning when you wake up. Wow. Here's a look at the surface map right now. You can see again quiet locally, but we're starting to see some showers breaking out there across portions of uh, uh, middle Tennessee and down towards northern Alabama. That's ahead of the cold front then. And then you'll see where we have the rain snow line. It's pretty easy to depict where that's showing up right now, running right across northwest Tennessee now. So making its way through the Memphis metro area as we speak, it's already come through Little Rock. And notice how you have that thin band of rain and then you quickly flip over to snow. And that's what's going to happen here. But again, it's not going to snow all night. So this snow will be around for a few hours during the uh, midnight to 2, 3 a.m. time frame or so. Let's just give or take. And that could lead to just enough accumulation to give us a couple of slick issues out there on the roadways because of the quick temperature drop. So uh, winter weather advisory in effect for areas north of the Tennessee border, primarily for that chance of some of those light snow accumulations, but also anything that falls across the area this evening. Once that temperature drops, it is going to plummet and that will lead to a flash freeze potential where anything on the roadway will definitely turn into ice. Now, thankfully, the winds will be up so strong, it may help to dry up some of that moisture, but we'll be watching that for you very closely late tonight. So here we go. We'll start the clock at 7 o'clock, and you can see some showers over uh, Middle Tennessee and uh, Alabama, and that will start to spread into our area around 8, 9 o'clock. So if you got any plans over the next hour or two, we'll start to see some of these rain showers moving in during the evening. But notice that heavy snow switch over there in Nashville, and then we'll have a burst of snow here in the Tennessee Valley coming through right around, let's say, the western half of the area up along the plateau as early as 9, 10 o'clock, and then that will start to spread across the rest of the area as we go from about 10, 11 o'clock, and that'll continue to about 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and then it's out of here by the time you wake up. So a very short duration of that wintry mix, but could be just enough to give us some slick spots, especially north of the Tennessee border, and then the strong winds pick in, and that's going to be the big story for the rest of the holiday weekend. So the potential snow again in the valleys, a dusting to a covering. I just don't see it snowing long enough to give us too much more than that. But in the higher elevations, you could pick up a half inch up to maybe an inch and a half or so. Same thing for the areas off towards the east in the higher elevations. But again, uh, for the valley areas, a dusting to a covering. The problem is any moisture that falls will likely freeze. So that's why it's a moderate impact, even though it's a very low amount of wintry precipitation possible due to that potential of a flash freeze. So stay uh, alert and be careful out there late tonight. Wind chill warning in effect for the entire area as well. This is what takes over for Friday morning. Wind chills as low as 10 to 20 below zero and the higher elevations as low as 30 to 40 below zero. So get ready. And if you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. 35 below in Omaha, 38 below in Bismarck. So it's not too far away. It's moving to the south and east and that type of cold dangerous cold, life-threatening cold is going to be moving our way as well. So you got to be prepared for that, folks. Make sure that you are taking those precautions. If you're out and about tomorrow, you've got to dress in layers. I'm talking five, six, seven layers and be aware. You don't want to be caught outside and let's say you run out of gas or your car breaks down. You don't know necessarily how long it will take for help to get there. This is life-threatening cold if you're unprepared and you're out and about in this type of weather. So be aware of that. You can get frostbite in less than 30 minutes to the exposed skin if that wind is blowing, those temperatures are so low and you're not prepared. So you've got to dress for this type of weather. So let's talk about the high temperature for your Friday. I have 16 there on the map, but the potential, the actual high will be right after midnight, whatever the temperature is. So it'll probably be like 28, 30, but we're not going to be there tomorrow. We'll be at eight in the morning, 16. That's about all we're going to do in the afternoon. But hey, Merry Christmas. At least the sunshine will be out, right? We'll see those temperatures slowly warming close to freezing by Christmas Day afternoon.